was not capricious at all. She's very thoughtful and deliberate in both her Toastmaster assignments as well as in her official capacity. So, join me in welcoming, welcoming of Lady Tamika Dixon, who's going to be speaking for five to seven minutes. Removing the mask, Lady Tanika. Thank you. <laughs> Our fellow guests and the members. Woo! Today is the best day of my life, is how I originally wake up in the morning. And actually, I don't look like this. It actually looks like this. It's beautiful, don't you think? And immediately, I hear, <coughs> Mom, are you ready? Before you know it, after I hop out of my bed, about 5.45 in the morning, and get in my car and take my son to the bus. Woo! That is the first mask, the mask of the mother. And I get to wear this mask the majority of my day. I really do. And I'm, I'm not complaining about it, but it's not the ultimate mask. I come back from dropping my son off, and then it's my time. My time. So take off the mother's mask, and I just had me a little rendezvous in my room. I take some time for me. Get my shower in, get my workout in. And then I hear boom, 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 boom. Go back to my mask. And my little five-year-old says, Good morning, mommy. How are you today? <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? As I warmly greet him early in the morning. And then it's time to put on the mask of the homeschooler. I'm a mom. And I homeschool my children. So, during the course of the day, I they start about 8 o'clock. And it runs until about 1, 1 30. And my children are so excited. They have so much energy. But this mask is on. And I don't really get to do anything else. But around about 1 30-ish is when I say, everybody take a nap. I take this mask off. And I put on the lovely mask of the businesswoman. And ring. my phone rings. Hello, may I help you? Yes, we may have some service for you today. It's some of the things I would say to some of the people who call on my nonprofit line, because I also have a nonprofit that helps families and youth become empowered to be and have stabilization. So the mother mask is off because the children are down, but then the mask of the business woman is on. And it's one of the things I really do enjoy. I really do enjoy doing business and I really do enjoy wearing the mask of, of a mom. But then there's a mask that really no one really gets to see. And that's the mask that I take off. And it's just me. The mask that allows me to come to Toastmasters on Tuesday and be me, the best me that I can be. This is what I believe I was born to do. To stand before people and impact them in some kind of way to be who they were born to be. I gave you a little, an illustration of all the masks that I wear. But every last one of us wear masks. We wear masks when we go to work. We wear, we wear a mask in our relationships. We even wear a mask when we go to church. And I'm wondering, do you really show who you really are? Think about it. This is not pretend play. The mask that I wear is not something that I would consider capricious. It's something of, of who I am. And there's nothing wrong with wearing <coughs> a mask. As long as you know when to remove the mask and when to put it on. The most important mask 
that I think that you can never wear is the mask of who you really are. When you stand before people, whether it be at work in a social service field, you have to put on a mask because you can't be as transparent as you would like to. Whether it be the mask as a fraternity and you're going out and you have to present diff to different organizations to get them to buy into the vision of your fraternity. What is the mask of being at Bank America? Punching in some numbers. But ultimately, you really want to be a rock band. That's what I would like to do. I say that to say that whether it will be the mask of the mom, which I love so dearly, or the mask of the businesswoman that I put on every day, or just the mask that allows me to come to Toastmasters, and wear a mask like this that is so beautiful, that really express who I am and show my be power. As long as you're being true to who you are, others will respect who you are and the mask that you wear. Thank you very much.